in the main event, this was a, I very much uh, enjoyed this fight. Uh, Robert Whitaker was minus one twenty when we recorded against Darren Till. He gets the forty eight forty seven unanimous decision victory. That is how I scored it. I know that um, a lot of people did. Like some of the vocal people did score it for Till, um, almost as evenly split as Esparza versus uh, Rodriguez. Obviously, more f- fanfare for this one because it was a, a bigger fight. But uh, I thought Whitaker clearly won three of the five. Um, I don't necessarily understand the people that had it four rounds to one for Whitaker. That I'm not as sure about, but um, I for sure had it three to two. Till did look really good. Got uh, hit Whitaker with that ridiculous elbow when Whitaker was on the way in and dropped him down and kind of roughed him up for the remainder of that round. But then Whitaker came back strong in the second and won the majority of the rest of the rounds, uh, in my opinion. So the hard part here for Till is he is one and one at middleweight. Uh, the guy he beat in a close fight looked terrible in his most recent fight, and he just lost to a guy that is if not championship level, you know, I know he was champion, but given where championship level is now, maybe not championship level and you lost to him. So he's kind of in a rock and a hard place, even though I think he is probably one of the tops in the division, which if you go back to enough shows or things I've said in the past, that is me eating a little bit of crow here for throwing a lot of shade on Till at different parts in his career. So I'm willing to say he's one of the best middleweights on the planet. And I'm going to leave it at that before I throw it in my mouth a little bit. So, Mike, mm-hmm. how do you feel about the, the main event here? Uh, I thought it was a great performance. I know some people uh, were a little upset that the guy, both guys were a little gun-shy. But, I mean, there's consequences for every single strike in there. And I, I actually liked the defensive uh, stuff that Bobby Knuckles and Till were doing. They were both just amazing. Uh, it took me a while to figure out that Till got hurt. I thought it was his hand that got hurt originally, but then it was his knee. And I kept telling my buddy here, I was like, man, he needs to kick that hand or, or kick the – it, and then I figured out his knee uh, from a stomp, I guess. But uh, it was a 48-47 to me at the same way. I had uh, three rounds to two uh, Whitaker. It was close, though. And uh, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have like made a big deal if it went the other way. We had no uh, dog in the race besides we love Bobby Knuckles. Absolutely. Big fan of his. I'm happy to see him get the win. And honestly, I hope they don't just like jettison to him, him to another title shot. It's like, give him a couple non-Romero-level fights so he could just sharpen some skills and keep his brain going for the dude, future. No, no homo, though. The body on Bobby Knuckles, dude, is insane. Dude. Well, I know what's funny about it, though? Because I, I was, I ended up getting, I was midway through the fight, I paused to take a call. And yes, we're about to get weird about uh, <laughs> Bobby Knuckles' body, but you know what? If you're the type of dude to listen to a podcast about two dudes talking about predominantly dudes fighting, <laughs> you can also appreciate the male form so get excited for what you're about to hear, dang it. Okay, so <laughs> the, the way it was frozen, he has a, like, he's absolutely ripped, right? Jack. But has such a unique body type because, mm-hmm. like, he doesn't have the V at all. He's pretty much a box, but his abs shoot out like there's no tomorrow. And he, not quite uh, Sage Northcutt style biceps. And if you know what I'm talking about, look at the picture of Sage Northcutt. When he's flexed, he looks normal. But anytime his arm is straight, he has overly developed biceps that don't make sense. Like they don't match the other muscles in his arm. But there's this part where like he's lifting up one hand. Uh, this is Bobby Knuckles wise where I happen to freeze it. Dude's arms are gigantic. Massive. Which And I realized that I wasn't thinking he had that big of an upper body because he has such a boxy torso. But I was kind of fun. Like it made his tats on his shoulders look real good. And yeah, yeah. this is stuff we're actually talking about on the show. It, hey, it's, it's awesome. going to make... It's gonna make me go and work out harder, okay? Exactly. That was it was awesome. And like no offense to like it's why, as weird as it is, I've never been so overly convinced that Till can't make weight at welterweight. Cause I know he's long, but like he he looks small compared to Whitaker, in my opinion, and Whitaker is not that big of a middleweight. I mean, he filled out a little bit after he went up to middleweight, but I don't that's why I was never like I'm like even like when he everyone's like, Oh man, he's so drawn out and he made one seventy one, I'm like yeah, but I mean, like, I can't even see, like, half of his muscles, mm-hmm. which weird sounds weird saying it, but, like, all these guys that are super drawn out, as long as they did it the correct way, they get super leaned out at the tail end of their cut, and, I mean, obviously, it always look way better when they're fueled up and uh, in the cage, but, like, 
That's why I've always just been like, I don't understand why he can't make the weight. I mean, obviously, I know he didn't grow, grow up as a wrestler, and this is someone, me right here, who has never had to make a specific weight on a scale for just about anything other than just vanity reasons. Um, I know I probably couldn't make it through a weight cut. I would probably cry my eyes out and go in the corner and probably just like rock myself back and forth. But that's why I don't get paid to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to move on just because I, I could probably talk about uh, – Whitaker and like other fighters bodies for a while so I'll say that for Twitter so if you're into that sort of thing don't send me a DM because that's it instantly gets it creepy but if you want to converse in a normal way just back and forth on Twitter I'm cool with that too <laughs> just, just send me a random picture of a fighter's body and we'll go back and forth with it yeah, like I'm no shame I'll do it I don't mind I, I wake up early man you get up at yeah. about like three four in the morning central time man I'm here for you I'm here for you <laughs> <laughs> If you like this clip, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you. Let's roll.